This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Wars is right here, and welcome to another Triple Threat Battle Royal. Welcome to join Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And you guys know it is the new tin battle, as you guys know. Galarian Slowbro, Lucario. And freaking Mew. These are the new new tins that came out just recently, and as well, it's the very first time that they finally put cardboard in the tins. Now, as you guys know, I've always said to you guys, never ever trust resale products. I mean, in hidden fates. If you guys know if they're pre-releases, you know when re um, restock ones, you know um, reprints. I understand, but if you're looking for originals. I'm going to show you really quick on what they look like because we're going to open this up really quick. Now, as you guys know, Hidden Fates, the originals, just talking to you like this, true flat. Hidden Fates originals came with plastic, okay? Plastic inside. And if you don't have a clue on what a reprint looks like, well, easy enough, look at the date and also look at the packaging of the tin. Of the tin. But also, when you open it up, you'll see that. The originals come with plastic, not cardboard, which I still think that the cardboard, to me, is worse, I think, but I can't help it with anything. But anyhow, enough of all that lot, we're opening up this tin, and it is a battle today, people, as you guys know. We're going to put this card to the side. It looks nice, to be honest. We really do like the look of the tin. I like the look inside. But anyhow... If you guys are new to my channel and you keep on thinking, Dobsy, what do you mean by Tim Battles, even though I've watched them all the time? If you guys are veterans to this channel, you know exactly what this is. I do not like this. It makes the card. Wow, really? Oh, do we really have to keep it like that? That's bullshit. Sorry for the swearing, people, but I don't like this. This is terrible. There we go. I have to literally rip it like that to get it out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, really quick then. The rules of the Tim Battles. Promo cards like these, even though this is not really a promo, this is actually a, a legit card for some weird reason. They count as one point because it, you always get it, okay? Normal holographics are worth a point as well. V cards, EXs and GXs, you know, the second version. They are worth two points. A full art is worth three. A rainbow rare slash amazing rare, anything like that, is worth four points. But if you get a gold card, like a shiny card, or even the most expensive card in the set, like which will be the fat Pikachu, or oh, oh my god, oh my god, brain point, are you mad? Oh god. Either way, if you get yourself a fat Pikachu in, the, in these tins, you get an instantly six points. You pretty much win the match because it's the best viable card in the game. So with that being said, let's have a look at the packs really quick. Oh my god, why did I look? Two Vivi Voltage, which is awesome. A Sonic Shield, which is amazing. Why? Why give us another Tilver pack again, Pokemon? Why? I know they're quite expensive now, but Breakpoint, that's disgusting. Oh, Breakpoint, Breakthrough, freaking Steam Seeds, they're the worst packs of all from the X and Y series. They're freaking god awful. Either way, I'm starting that off. Okay, Bill, so like I said though, place your bets before the Pokemon battle, the tin, ba the tin battle. Who's going to win? Is it Slowbro? Is it Lucario? Or is it going to be Mew? But if you want to see Lucario on Mew, you've got to stay tuned in a couple of days because they'll be up next. Right, X and Y with a flimsy pack to be honest. It was super easy to open up that pack. Three cards from the back, if I remember. We got ourselves Electivire, we got Bailey, Purugly, of course, we got Drowsy, we got Cricketot, uh, we got Skelep, we got Staryu, uh, Skidipi, a reverse roll Throkey, and a Pangoro. Thank god it was not a hollow. <laughs> if it was a hollow, I would have been flapping right now. So on the shield, let's have a looky. Well, at the moment, Slowbo has still got one point, which is not good because we definitely need points for these sins to make sure who's going to win. 
But like I said, I'm going to put my money to my boy Lucario. I really do like Lucario a lot. So I'd like to see him get the most wins. Darkness Energy. Haunter, which looks very, very sadistic. Wow. We got Vianity Band. We got Raboot. We got Rosalia. We got um, Tootle. We got Bullabug. We got Rhyhorn. Problebus, Zabid, and Cinescorch. What an omen. <laughs> but still, a terrible pack. Still, no points. New point. Oh dear. Vivi Voltage, can this save the tin? I hope it can. Let's hope that we get some amazing rares. A Jirachi, which would be amazing. Or a Zelebi, which would be even crazier. We got ourselves a Psychic Energy. Loudered. We got Stadium, Zebra Strike, Drillable, Clefairy, Whalemore, Tynamo, Execute, and a Reverse for uh, Merigros. Not bad, but it doesn't worth any points because it's a Reverse Foil. And a Lucario! What an omen! Sh shouting out his name and you get him. What a surprise. Next pack. Final pack. Let's hope we can get some up. Come on. We need something good out of this last pack. Just so we can get some points. There's a code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's have a looky. We've got Lightning Energy. Carolis. We've got Stone. Electric. Mudbury. Slugma. Wisma. Execute. Wubat. Oh, there we go! <laughs> it's a reverse for a rare Charizard. Okay. I'll take it. It's not worth any points because it's not a hollow Charizard, but Elvit is a Charizard and it's going into my Charizard collection, which where is my um, one of my trusty sleeves right here. And we get ourselves this dude, fair enough. Okay. We got a hollow rare there, so that's giving them a point. But of course though, it is a Charizard end of the day for me. I'll put him in these guys just to make sure. He's very nicely centered. Little tiny off on this side, but I'll take it. And it's a little bit off here, so it'd definitely be a, be a 9 or an 8. It's hard to tell. But like I said, I always keep my Charizards all day long. So either way, it's good to have a Charizard in your collection again. So that's sweet. But either way, still it was not worth it's not worth a point, just to let you guys know, because it's not a hollow rare. It's not the most expensive card. But of course, I'm sure that Charizard has money for value, just to let you guys know. So, for the reverse foil rares of the day, on the reverse foils as well, we got Sillipede and Froakie. And for reverse foil rares, we got sort of Metagross and of course, our trusty Charizard. But for hollow rares of the day that are worth points, you get yourself one point for the Tokyo Tower Dragon. And you get yourself the Galarian Slowbro V, which is worth one point as well, because it's really the card you guaranteed to get, aka a promo. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely did. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and also go and check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. With that being said, the people on the screen go to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Okay, my look changed. We got Charizard. I was not expecting that! Let's go! I like getting these, these are nice! I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! 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 oh my god! We got him! We got him! Oh my god! No! Oh! oh we got him! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs>